morning, America. Today on our program, we are going to talk to you about the new, interesting, and emerging technology that is 3D television. We're going to tell you how 3D TV works, how you can view 3D TV, and some pros and cons of 3D TV. Uh, many networks are going to start putting 3D TV in the commercial market and bring them to your homes by 2010, so in the next month or so. And here still to tell you how 3D TV works. 3D technology has been around since basically the 1950s and millions of the day, but it's actually become more viable for home viewing nowadays. The way 3D technology works is they have two cameras used, uh, one being used for the left eye, one being used for the right eye. Basically, it works on the, on the concept that when you actually see things, your eye takes two inches, they're about three inches apart, and puts them together. Basically, it works by tricking your brain into seeing death when there actually is no death. Um, recently, Sony has been producing single lens cameras that use the mirrors to create 3D images with one camera set too, which makes the entire process a lot less time consuming, a lot more efficient, and will actually allow 3D technology to be much, much more viable for TVs. There are two ways to do 3D TV, and one of those ways involves using glasses. There are code filter glasses, which uses two different colors on your left and right eye, but these went out of style years ago and they're generally not used today. There are polarized glasses, which uses polarization to control what your eyes see and the light to create the 3D image. Shutter glasses are well, self-explanatory. They, they use shutters over each eye that can move up the speed of 250 hertz that create a special 3D image. If you don't want to wear the polarized glasses, you can just try TV without the glasses, which use special lenses under the screen itself to act as magnifying glasses to create the 3D image. Today, for this class, I'd like to discuss the positives and pros to 3D technology and sunglasses. Alright, we have over here, we have the same price as a normal TV. Now, if you could buy a regular TV for, let's say, $1,000, and you can buy 3D TV with the specifications of the glasses and everything and have a 3D TV over a 3D TV, I don't see why there's any reason why you wouldn't want to do it. Now, some people, I guess, maybe wouldn't want the 3D, but for those who do, it's not more expensive than a regular TV, so it's pretty good. Uh, it's more lifelike, so when you're watching it, you know, sometimes maybe you get bored watching something or you start floating your attention somewhere else. With 3D TV, it doesn't really happen like that because everything's in your face, so you don't really waste, you don't really waste any time. You don't really look around, you're focused and you're paying attention. Uh, same channels you already have, so that if you have a 2D TV, a regular TV, and you, uh, and you buy 3D TV and you get the glasses, it's the same thing as regular TV, except it's just more in-depth and you have a much better view in your face, much more exciting than regular TV, TV and you don't have to worry about getting any additional channels or paying any extra money, so there's no bonuses and add-ons on top of that. Uh, then it's bring video games to a whole new level. People who play video games and gaming, it's a big industry makes millions and millions of dollars a year, so you know, a lot of people nowadays, especially younger kids, teenagers, play video games, so when they play these video games, they're getting so advanced technology-wise that making a 3D TV and having that will just bring it to life even more, so it'll be a lot better of an experience for people playing video games or watching movies or who are really like looking for the full experience. And then, one of the most important things, you can also convert it back to 2D. So that way, if you don't, everyone has glasses or it's not working out the way you want, you have a 3D TV, but you can also go back to 2D. So you can go back and you can flip flop so you get the best of both worlds. So that's some of the pros for uh, 3D technology. So we just went over some of the pros for 3D TV, so I'm going to stop by and do some cons. Some of the cons are you always have to wear your glasses when watching TV. If you misplace your glasses or lose them, watching 3D TV is impossible. Also, you can't sit wherever you want. You have to sit in certain places in your house or in your room to actually experience 3D TV. You can't just move around the room or get the space to see the whole time. Also, it's very expensive for the television companies. They will have to raise prices for memberships, like Comcast and everyone, because they have to pay for the emergency technology. Also, it's unnecessary for many channels. You don't need 3D TV to watch news, ESPN, sports games, anything like that is not necessary. Yes, it's good for television shows, but everything like that is not necessary for it. The TV, TV is expected to hit stores over the next year. Although it's relatively affordable and useful, there are still some problems, and it would be up 
to you, the consumers, to decide if it would be a good uh, success. We hope we have educated you enough to make that decision, and hopefully you can enjoy 2010 FIFA World Cup on a new uh, 3D TV. Goodbye, Mike.